Uh, what is up guys welcome back to another tutorial for Sony Vegas Pro and um, today I'm going to be showing you how to use keyframes and um, if I just explain what keyframes are it's basically creating a start point and an end point for any of your effects so basically if you put a start point um, and the end point everything in the middle it just sort of does for you that's the best way for me to explain it and um, you'll see what I mean when I show you um, let's put in some light rays basically I've just got some text here over an image just to stop it from lagging up now if we put on maybe moderate light rays onto the text as you can see it creates that sort of light ray effect yeah <laughs> of course it does and um, what we're gonna do is you click animate underneath the little box and here you get a separate timeline now this is your effects timeline okay you can have loads on here it will, so you can stack your effects on here um, it will probably cause Vegas to, to lag a little bit I know it does for me but you know just one effect should be cool um, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna make the light rays coming from the left and finish on the right this is how you animate text or animate effects what I would do is click this this syncs your cursor to the media timeline so if we have a look oh the wrong thing you see the timeline at the bottom that doesn't move at all but when I click this there we go everything on there is, is exactly the same as what's on the timeline okay so it makes it easy to put the effects in you can see exactly where you put them and um, so this is your first keyframe, it always starts off with a keyframe. Uh, this is my little guiding box. So yeah, let's move the light rays over to the right. And then I reckon about here, I'll add a keyframe. I'll move this all the way over here. And that's it, that is how keyframes work and what you'll see. everything in the middle is done for me now this works with pretty much any effect um, color corrections believe it or not you can switch between like sort of it could be bright purple and then you can change it over to green and it'll be really fluid because you've done it through keyframes I know a lot of people just split the clip and just drop an effect on and then it just comes in really suddenly so to be honest it's not that nice when you do it I mean sometimes it works I mean I do it from time to time but I prefer to have it nice and smooth and you can get an effect you know coming in sort of thing so maybe there we have uh, reset to none okay so there's no effect to begin with and then it comes in nice and smooth so like this you see and you can finish them off as well so click here and I'll click another reset to none there you'll see it comes in and it fades back out again nice and smooth um, you can use the same thing for it works exactly the same for pan and crop so maybe I'll put it here just so it doesn't take forever oh, oh whoa 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 there we go it's gonna zoom in pretty quick we're just gonna zoom in there you go exactly the same anyway I'm sorry I'm a bit rubbish today I'm pretty tired I've only just got up um, I hope this tutorial was of use to you if you've got any questions just pop them in the uh, in the comments and uh, yeah anything you'd like to see as a tutorial for Sony Vegas please pop in the, the comments and uh, I'll see what I can do anyways cheers guys